for the second time here. So open it up. Yeah, Mullen mentioned having a lot of the guys on the team text him right away and ask about you. Did they reach out to you as well? What was that process like for you? Yeah, it was it was interesting because I'm sitting, whatever I was doing on a Saturday night, I remember, and I get a text from Juwan Taylor and, Coach, would you come back? And, okay, let me look on Twitter. What's going on? Why would he ask me that? So, okay, I seen Coach Warren at left, and then – um. You know, Marco gives me a call. CJ gives me a call. I'm like, well, y'all t- take it. Yes, yeah, I'm interested. I love to come back. You know, man, that's home. Blah blah blah. Um, give, you know, want you bring it up to your coach. And um, so it was. It was interesting getting the process going in that manner. So. So then Dan calls you or. Um, talked to Coach Grantham, um, that same night. Hey man, I, I'm interested in, in in coming back that type of deal. So we talked a couple times, talked to Coach English. So you just kind of talking to the guys. And, um, you know, Coach Grant will say, well, Coach Mullen, he, you know, he's got to go talk to Coach Mullen. And um, he's like, Coach Mullen will call you in the morning. So, you know, Coach Mullen calls me in the morning and we're talking. And, hey, well, you know, we'll bring you in the next day. Um, and that was – so I came in Sunday night, got in around midnight and talked to Coach Mullen on Monday morning and um, offered the job. And it – was just kind of spinning and going from there. Anything different that, that stands out to you immediately? You know, I couldn't go out recruiting immediately. Um, I know when I went down to watch the guys work in the weight room, I was really impressed with just their intensity and their, their effort and, and those type of things like that. And I was like, wow, you know, this is, this is pretty neat, you know, to be able to see those guys um, work down there. <laughs> What's your catching up process and all those things? How much really, how much different is it? Now? Well, the early signing period is is obviously a huge difference because that wasn't the last time when I was here. We didn't have the early signing period. And I just remember going through that January cycle and through that recruiting day, and you're trying to sign those guys at the last second, and you're waiting on signing day. Are we going to get them? Are they going to go somewhere else? And and you're talking about, man, that's just such a – and today, you know, you got only a couple guys that you're, you're worrying about. So that was kind of the, the biggest difference that I noticed today. But still a little stress at it, but not, not nearly as much. What's your impression of the talent pool that you're inheriting? I mean, you had some great talent before, but it mm-hmm. seems like a pretty special group again. Yeah, definitely excited to coach the guys that – that's in the cornerback group. You got Marco Wilson, C.J. Henderson. Those guys are obviously the, the bell cow. Um, familiar with those guys um, before I left. And then to see the guys that we just got that will give us some depth. They're freshman guys. But, um, you know, Chris Steele, Jaden Hill, Kimbro. Um, I can't trading. Can't, can't talk about a um, certain name yet. But um, trading, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a very talented talented group. Uh, so v- extremely excited to be able to work with these guys. Do you, I mean, you had Tabor and Wilson. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tabor who, Wilson, who, Duke Dawson. Duke and, Dawson. It was Marcus May. It was a very talented group, and these guys are a little less than experienced on an experience standpoint. Some of the, a lot of those guys are, but from a talent standpoint, you're 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 barking up the right tree. You know, I'm excited about that. I know you weren't involved in the initial decision, but I just have to ask, what's the process of turning Quentin Dunbar into a corner? The process, well, to do it on that level, I got to give a lot of um, props to Quentin because that's not an easy transition on the highest level to go from a wide receiver to a cornerback. But first of all, he's a willing participant, and he wanted to, you know, he wanted to be great at what he's doing. So the process – how much does he know from a just the basic standpoints? Obviously, he's going to be able to backpedal and do those type of things, but just which foot to put up, just the, all the little little details you, you understand that you can't take for granted, um, what leverage I need to be on. You need to be able to make sure we're right on those things, and it was fun just seeing him be able to learn and grasp the little details, and then now you can teach him offense and what the offense is doing and those things, and, and he was really a quick study from that standpoint, and He's going to be a, a really good, good cornerback um, with the transition still in process. Is there anything you learned from that challenge that maybe you can use now to, to do that? 
Yes, it's it's not to take any of the details for granted. Like, you know, I hear stories um, when I first got there and, and well, we're in cover three. You got a three deep zone and they were like, do you know what that is, Quentin? You're talking about doing a game. The kid's actually out there and he's playing and he still wasn't exactly sure what a three deep zone, which is a very simple, simple concept. But um, you, you understand, hey, you, you got guys playing a position or you got young guys coming in. You can't take any of those little details for granted. Much has been made of the strength and conditioning overall here. Is there anything that you've noticed? I know you've been primarily on the road, but mm -hmm. have you seen some of the stuff going on right now? You know, that's what I, that's what I mentioned earlier. I thought that was the biggest biggest difference that I, I, I noticed, just the intensity and the way those guys are working and the effort that they're giving. Um, just like I said, just thoroughly, really impressed with, with that.